this comes back to the convenience of the overall plot. There's too many convenient points. Starting off, one you didn't mention, McCurdy, right at the beginning, JB, what's his name? Bouchard. Bond makes the point that he notices she opened her own door. You know, a a woman at a funeral isn't going to open her own door. And that's where he makes the point, like, oh, f*** that's him. I'm going to go kill him. Madame, I've uh, come to offer my sincere condolences. How is there a jetpack conveniently placed on top of his house for escape? Well, like, uh, why is that there? I, I, I can seems... actually explain that. Scott, okay. that is something I can actually explain with the jetpack, which I do want to bring up. That jetpack's real. That is a real jetpack. That thing actually works. That's not a fake thing. That was real. It had a works long as in it old... shoots gas out of it. It can't yes. actually propel you up. Yeah, there's it, no way. No, it, they it, had no, that it does. Up. Charlie, it, it actually propels you up. It can actually uh, propel a, a 200 pound man into the sky yes. where's where's yes. the Someone proof of this? wearing those That's what jetpacks would fly into like football stadiums and stuff. That's a real thing. It's lined with f***ing aluminum foil. How the hell does it actually work? It's not. It works. This actually works. And when you think of jetpack, okay, like, if you guys know about jet engines or whatever, we're not talking about jets, but yeah, it's compressed, like, hydrogen gas or whatever it is. Not hydrogen. I don't know exactly. I don't know the f***ing science of it. It's compressed gas, but yes, it does propel people. It's not very long. (laughs) It's not like Rocketeer stuff. But wait, wait, wait. This is a movie prop. Are you saying the movie prop can do it? You can argue with me about like, no, there's no way. Like, yes, it's a real thing. They've used it at Super Bowls. It was used as like, it. it's used at big events all the time. It's like, oh God, hmm. look up on YouTube. There's tons of videos of these jetpacks being used. It's not like a fake thing. It's more of a novelty. Okay, okay, okay. It was developed jet by the military. Jetpacks can be a real thing. Yeah. This in they the call movie, it a rocket belt. So is to be this, fair, in the movie, the actual though, name in the is movie, the movie. Is this a be. movie prop or is this a working jetpack that I could put on and it's shoot a working, into the air? It is a working thing called a rocket belt. Look up rocket belt. It's a working when that thing. guy flies though. When Did the stuntman wears it, flies. That's real. That is real. When you see him jump off and do that whole thing, that's. Wow. No sh- now when now of cool. course when they do the close up of, bon- of, of yeah, Connery that's a close up and they do and that's that. a rear yeah. project exactly but that's a real thing that he's actually flying over and he lands and then they do the cowboy switcheroo and it's Connery putting the prop version of it into the back of the Aston Martin okay so we so, got that now tell Scott why the so jet Scott the reason there. why it's not an inconvenience is because if you if you remember it's, it's not like, an inconvenience it, it's, it's incredibly easy enough convenient. to realize it's too convenient here's <laughs> hold on hold on <laughs> if he can go if he can go from the ground to yeah, but why is the, it there? Uh, he didn't uh, know. He thought he was he dead. He was there. at his because funeral. He put it there. He pu- because he, he put so it there. he planned. He, it, he knew he, he wasn't dead, but he, he made the point: the you room. shouldn't have opened your door yourself. That's what gave you away. He thought he was actually he already, dead. No, no, Scott. He leaves the funeral. Bond follows him. He goes to his house. He gets on the jetpack. He flies up. He puts the jetpack down. He goes that into the house. So loud. There and how did nobody hear him flying onto? the hey, roof of the house about, that's the point i'm listen, making it doesn't if you want to talk sense. about loud before okay okay that's fair but you want to talk about loud i, I would say i think he movie, i think he had the french agent plant it maybe maybe and so go, and that could be it get too. in the the get away that could be it too yeah but the other okay if you because talk why about else would shit, she be there what other purpose does she serve Megan, uh, to just be sitting in the aston martin db5 the whole time Instead, my assumption is they got there together. Bond said, hey, I'm going to sneak in. You sneak in through the top. You put the jetpack there. You come back down. You get in the DB5. I'm going to fly over. You're going to help me load it up. And then when they come in and shoot at us, I'm going to put up the thing. And then we're going to shoot them with water. And then we're going to go f***. I'm okay with either of those explanations. The other loud thing that bothers me in the movie is when he's at Largo's compound. And he already goes in the basement. And then he gets out of the basement. And it's like the cellar door. And if you watch it, he walks out of the cellar door and, and slams door it. He slams, slams the shit out of it. Yeah. And there are, there's a bunch and of Batman's. You yeah. have a bunch of these Batman 66 henchmen wearing all black, like walking around with guns trying to be like, yeah. where's this dude at? Where's but like, this dude at? And it's like, like that's, how do they that's not like, hear him? Those are just mistakes. Yeah. Like, those Overlooked. are just mistakes. Like, it's just a we, thing. we won't count that against the movie. No. 